Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here, and today we're going to be looking at what if we dumped our trash into volcanoes? We clearly have a big problem on this planet with waste. Each year, the USA alone makes around 300 million tons of trash. But the question is, where to put it? If we put it in landfill, then this takes up a lot of space. So, wouldn't it be convenient just to dump it all in a big volcano to incinerate it? Well, today we're going to look at if we could do that or not. But first, why not subscribe and turn on the notification bell too. If we wanted to dump our trash into volcanoes, the first hurdle we'd come to is transportation. First off, in the whole world, there are only 1,500 active volcanoes. You would need the volcano to be active, as otherwise there'd be no lava to incinerate our trash. Now, obviously, these 1,500 volcanoes are pretty big. This means they would technically fit all of the trash we create. But one issue is, how would you get the trash to the volcanoes? Each person generates around 4.5 pounds of trash per day. So that means we'd need to find an active volcano near to our trash. Not many people live near active volcanoes. So this means it would take a ton of time, fuel and money simply to transport our trash to the volcanoes. But technically, through the use of planes, boats and trucks, it would be possible. But now for the main problem with dumping our trash into volcanoes. And that is simply how dangerous it would be. When you imagine dumping trash into a volcano, you likely imagine throwing garbage into a hole in a cone. But unfortunately, real volcanoes are nowhere near as neat as this. In reality, there's actually a gigantic crater. Most volcanoes are actually classified as stratovolcanoes. That's because they have occasional lava flows. And also because of the hot gases and magma built up inside them, they do sometimes have small explosions. These small explosions fire lava up into the air and then down onto the surrounding areas. So if you were a garbage man, then your job just got a hundred times more dangerous. Also, you couldn't simply drive a garbage truck onto this volcano. Most volcanoes do not have a neat path to their crater. So it would be very difficult to throw trash into an explosive volcano. Obviously, volcanoes are very spontaneous and unproductive, so you never know when they're going to explode or erupt. Most volcanoes bubble at their surface and spew out bits of molten rock, ash and gases. If you were to stand anywhere near this, then you would not be alive for very long. But let's say we don't use a garbage truck or a garbage man to dump our trash into volcanoes. Maybe we use a different device, like a crane for example. And no, I don't mean the bird, I mean the giant mechanical construction. Well, unfortunately, we would still have an issue with eruptions. When something cold hits a mass of lava, this can result in a massive explosion and even an eruption. Believe it or not, in 2002, researchers in Ethiopia actually tried this. They dumped a bunch of cold material into a volcano, but this resulted in a ginormous eruption of that volcano. But that was just a small bit of trash. Let's imagine a 66 pound bag of trash. This would be the average weekly trash bag of a family of four. Well, if you dump this into a volcano, it could send lava around 300 feet up into the air. This would obviously fall down around the surrounding areas. So anyone who lived anywhere near these volcanoes would need to move. And if they didn't, then they wouldn't have much choice, as their house would be destroyed by falling lava. Obviously, one big downside to things like landfill is the pollution it causes. Landfill contaminates the soil it's buried in, producing methane. Methane is a greenhouse gas 21 times more powerful than CO2. And these greenhouse gases go on to cause a lot of global warming. But sadly, dumping our trash into volcanoes would be just as bad, if not worse, for the environment. Trash incinerators we use today have a lot of regulations. That's to prevent it being too bad for the environment. The incinerators try their best to make sure minimal amounts of smoke go into our air. But obviously you can't really govern or regulate a volcano. This means dumping things into volcanoes will cause a lot of smoke to go into the atmosphere. And because you can't use technology on a volcano, it can't filter out things like carbon monoxide or sulfur dioxide. This means all of this stuff will be going up into the air and polluting our world even more. So even if we could dump our trash into volcanoes, it may be more convenient, but it would be way worse for the environment. So we can't throw general trash into volcanoes, too bad. But what about specialized waste? For example, medical waste or nuclear waste? These things tend to be very dangerous and are very hard to get rid of. Well, unfortunately, volcanoes, although they seem very powerful, are not more powerful than nuclear fuel. Volcanoes simply are not hot enough to sterilize things like medical waste. And they're also not hot enough to melt down nuclear fuel. The temperature of an average volcano is around 2,100 degrees Fahrenheit. 
Of course, that is very hot, but not hot enough to melt down nuclear fuel or sterilize medical waste. And for those six reasons, we cannot dump our trash into volcanoes. It would be a logistical nightmare to do, it would be dangerous for the people doing it, it would cause lots of eruptions and gas explosions, it would cause a lot of air pollution and make our world even more polluted, and finally, we couldn't even get rid of things like nuclear waste or medical waste anyway. So sorry volcanoes, but you're just not that useful. At least not for getting rid of trash. So while dumping trash may seem like an ideal idea in a cartoon world, unfortunately it isn't. But some people still say we should try it out. So now based on what you know, vote in the poll in the top right corner. Should we try dumping trash into volcanoes or not? If you guys want some more amazing videos, then why not check out my second channel? There'll be a link to that coming up on screen in a moment. But as always, thanks for watching, check out some more videos on screen right now, leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.